Hello, in this video, I would like to show you some of the new features of Empower Charts 9.0. This video will cover the most important features. Um, smaller improvements may be included as well. So first big new change is charts preloading. So whenever you enter a slide, then the charts will be preloaded and will light up as you can see here. And if you click, then the chart is immediately there. The very first chart might take some more time, but after the first initialization, um, you can expect the charts preload once you enter um, the slide. Um, one thing you should be aware of if you work, let's say with a post-it and you want to place this on top of the chart, like here, then the preloading will cause um, or the pre-selection that you cannot access this um, post-it in this example anymore. So in order to get to your post-it, you can turn off here the preloading uh, by clicking here. Then you can again access it. Um, so maybe for a chart where you want to have shapes on top, just turn off the preloading. If you want to turn off the preloading completely, you can go to the charts user settings and turn off preloading even though we uh, recommend that you keep it as it increases the performance significantly. Right, next topics is arrows. So if I select this chart to get to the action bar here or menu bar, um, we have a new way to work with arrows. So if I want to have an arrow here, I can either drag and drop or click here and then click where I want it to end. And also if I want to modify it and it should go to here, I can uh, basically with the mouse drag and drop um, or draw arrows. I can also modify them. So if I want to have this uh, closer, I can now um, move it here. And I can also combine arrows. So let's say I want to have another arrow from here to here, then by default, he's already combining them. Um, if I don't want to combine them, I can, again, uh, do something like this or have it below um, the other way around. Or if I uh, put it here, I can combine them again. The other thing I can do now is to format arrows in more detail. So let's take this arrow away. Um, so I can format here the line color, basically. Um, and I can further um, format, of course, the label. I can also say I want to have an ellipse. And maybe I even want to have a fill color. So I can do all of that. And I can also influence the label in more detail. Like here you have your pane to configure the arrow. If you click here on custom, you can say, okay, I want to have the absolute value and I want to have the percentage. You have a preview of how it looks up here. Um, and maybe I want to have a line break and I want to have brackets and then I hit okay. And then I have my label as I wanted it to have be. Next new feature is a new legend so here you see a standard legend what you can do now is first of all to drag and drop it out of the chart and place it anywhere on your slide and you can also resize it to make it for instance like this and what you can also do is to change the order so now it's reading row by row you can also say well i want to have it um, in columns or invert it completely so it goes the other way around. And you can also format if I want to have this in bold, I can do that. Um, yeah, and you can also define different colors if you want. Right, next new feature is around data labels. So here in this example, um, I have here company target values and then to different departments that contribute towards this uh, target. And this is basically just the sum of the two departments. 
and maybe I want to have um, the percentage towards this target. Um, so how I would do that. First of all, in this example, um, I have two different uh, axes. So the target is on one axis and the columns are on the other axis. Um, and then I can configure now the data labels for the primary axis. This is where my uh, columns are and say, well, I want to have a custom label. I want to have the um, value, but I also want to have the percentage and the percentage should be calculated with a reference to the reference 100% equals the series company target. And then again, I can say, well, I want to have this in brackets and I want to have a new line in between. And if I hit OK, then this is calculated 300 divided by 700, 200 divided by 700 and so on. So you can do very special calculations. You can also have a um, hidden series that represents your 100% values, if you will, if you want. You can hide series basically here. Um, further, you can rotate um, labels. So if I have these labels and I want to rotate them, I can say, well, these should be like this. And I can also do stepwise selection. So if I hit this and now hit Control A, I select all labels of this series. Another times uh, Control A selects all labels in the chart. Right, and then some sm smaller improvements in the gun chart. So this um, arrow goes till August in the next year. And if you want to visualize that this is basically going beyond the boundaries of your gun, you can turn on here now overflow arrows. And then you get something like this. If you don't want it, you can simply turn it off. Further, you can now move items with the cursor keys. So I'm now pressing the left arrow and moving this bar to the left. And in such a case where your label is partially on the bar task, partially outside, you may want to turn on the label background um, so it's easier to read the text. Right, so this is in a nutshell what is all new in Empower Charts 9.0. Thank you for your attention.